the Mariana Trench, a scar on the Earth's surface, a testament to the dynamic and ever-changing nature of our planet. It plunges deeper than Mount Everest is tall, reaching depths that challenge our understanding of the natural world. Located in the Western Pacific Ocean, east of the Philippines, this crescent-shaped trench is home to the Challenger Deep, the most profound part of the trench. This is the deepest known point on Earth, reaching a staggering depth of almost 7 miles, approximately 11 kilometers, a depth that is hard to fathom. The Mariana Trench was formed by a geological process called subduction, a fundamental mechanism of plate tectonics. Here, two tectonic plates collide with immense force. The denser plate is forced to slide beneath the lighter one, creating a deep trench that continues to evolve over millions of years. The pressure at the bottom of the trench is over 1,000 times the pressure at sea level, a crushing force that few organisms can withstand. Exploration of the Mariana Trench began in the early 20th century, marking the beginning of humanity's quest to understand the deep sea. It remains a challenging and dangerous endeavor, fraught with technical difficulties and extreme conditions, but the rewards are great, offering insights into the geology, biology, and chemistry of one of the most remote places on Earth. The Mariana Trench offers a unique window into the history of our planet and the life that exists in its most extreme environments, revealing ecosystems that thrive in complete darkness and under immense pressure. Imagine diving into the ocean depths. The sunlight fades, the water turns cold and dark. You are traveling to the Challenger Deep, the deepest point of the Mariana Trench. The journey is long and perilous. Only a handful of humans have ever ventured to this extreme depth. The first were Jacques Picard and Don Walsh in 1960. They descended in a submersible called the Trieste. Their journey to the bottom took nearly five hours. More recently, filmmaker James Cameron made a solo dive to the Challenger Deep in 2012. He piloted the Deep Sea Challenger submersible. His mission collected valuable data and images of this unexplored world. The Challenger Deep is a place of mystery and intrigue, a realm that has fascinated scientists and explorers for generations. It's named after the HMS Challenger, a pioneering vessel that embarked on a groundbreaking expedition. This British survey ship was the first to sound the depths of the trench in the 1870s, marking a significant milestone in oceanography. The extreme pressure and perpetual darkness create a hostile environment for most life forms, making it one of the most challenging places to explore. Despite these harsh conditions, scientists believe that life finds a way, adapting to survive in ways we are only beginning to understand. Samples collected from the Challenger Deep have revealed the presence of microorganisms, tiny yet resilient forms of life that thrive where others cannot. These tiny creatures are able to survive in the most extreme environments on Earth, showcasing the incredible adaptability of life. The Challenger Deep is a testament to the resilience of life, a place where the boundaries of survival are constantly being redefined. It's a reminder that we have much to learn about our planet and the creatures that call it home, urging us to continue exploring and uncovering the secrets of the deep. Life in the Mariana Trench has adapted to extreme pressure, cold, and darkness. Creatures here have unique adaptations to survive. The conditions are so harsh that only the most resilient and specialized organisms can thrive. These adaptations are a marvel of nature, showcasing the incredible diversity and ingenuity of life. Some have gelatinous bodies. This helps them withstand the crushing pressure. Their bodies are flexible and can compress without damage, allowing them to survive where other creatures would be crushed. This unique adaptation is crucial for their survival in such an extreme environment. Others have evolved bioluminescence. This means they can create their own light to attract prey or find mates. In the pitch black depths, this ability is not just a survival tool, but a way to communicate and interact with their environment. It's a fascinating adaptation that highlights the creativity of evolution. One of the most iconic inhabitants of the Mariana Trench is the anglerfish. This fearsome predator has a bioluminescent lure. It hangs in front of its mouth to attract prey in the pitch black. The anglerfish's lure is a perfect example of how life can adapt to the most challenging conditions, turning darkness into an advantage. Other creatures, like the deep sea hatchetfish, have large upward-facing eyes. 
These are perfectly adapted to spotting prey silhouetted against the faint light filtering from above. Their eyes are highly sensitive, allowing them to detect even the slightest movement in the dim light, making them efficient hunters in their dark world. The Mariana Trench is a testament to the power of evolution. It shows us that life can exist even in the most inhospitable places on Earth. The resilience and adaptability of these creatures are a reminder of the incredible tenacity of life. They inspire us to understand and appreciate the complexities of our planet's ecosystems. In the deepest parts of the Mariana Trench, scientists discovered something amazing. These are giant amoebas called xenophyophores. These single-celled organisms are some of the largest known. Some can grow to be over four inches or 10 centimeters in diameter. Xenophyophores are incredibly adapted to life in the trench. Their cell walls are strengthened, helping them withstand the immense pressure. They are also able to accumulate high concentrations of heavy metals, which would be toxic to most other life forms. Scientists are still unraveling the mysteries of these fascinating creatures. Their discovery highlights the incredible diversity of life that exists in the deep sea. Another intriguing inhabitant of the Mariana Trench is the deep sea dragonfish. This predator has a long, slender body and sharp fang-like teeth. It's one of the few fish that can produce red light. Most deep sea creatures are blind to red light. This gives the dragonfish a crucial advantage when hunting. It can illuminate its prey without alerting other predators. The deep sea dragonfish is a master of its environment. It's a reminder that even in the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean, the battle for survival continues. The deep sea hatchetfish is a small bioluminescent fish. It's named for its flattened, hatchet-shaped body. These fish have large, upward-facing eyes, perfect for spotting predators silhouetted against the faint light filtering down from the surface. Hatchetfish can control the intensity of their own bioluminescence. They use this to match the light coming from above, making them practically invisible to predators looking up from below. The deep sea hatchetfish is a remarkable example of adaptation to the deep sea environment. Its unique body shape and bioluminescent capabilities make it a master of camouflage in the abyss. Section 8, Hydrothermal Vents Oases of Life in the Deep. Scattered along the floor of the Mariana Trench are hydrothermal vents. These are cracks in the Earth's crust. They release superheated water rich in minerals. Surprisingly, these vents support thriving ecosystems. Bacteria form the base of these ecosystems. They use chemosynthesis to convert chemicals from the vents into energy. This process doesn't require sunlight. These bacteria support a diverse community of creatures, including giant tube worms, crabs, and shrimp. The discovery of hydrothermal vents revolutionized our understanding of life on Earth. It showed that life isn't dependent on sunlight for its primary source of energy. Section 9. The Sound of the Mariana Trench, a Symphony of the Abyss. The Mariana Trench may seem like a silent world. In reality, it's filled with sound. Scientists have used hydrophones to record the soundscape of the trench. The result is a surprising symphony of biological and geological noises. The calls of whales and dolphins echo through the water. The rumbles of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions can be heard from miles away. Even the movement of tectonic plates creates a low-frequency hum. These sounds provide valuable information about the geology and ecology of the trench. They offer a glimpse into a world hidden from our view. Section 10. Pollution's Reach. Even the deepest depths are not safe. Sadly, even the deepest parts of the ocean are not immune to human pollution. Scientists have found plastic debris, even in the Mariana Trench. This is a stark reminder of the far-reaching impacts of human activity. Pollutants from the surface can accumulate in the food chain and ultimately reach the deepest parts of the ocean. This threatens the delicate balance of life in the trench. Protecting the Mariana Trench and other deep sea environments from pollution is crucial for the health of our planet. Section 11. Conclusion. The future of the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is a place of wonder, mystery, and scientific importance. It's a testament to the power of life to adapt and thrive in even the most extreme environments. 
Continued exploration and research are essential to understanding the secrets of the trench. This includes its unique geology, its diverse ecosystems, and the impact of human activities on this remote and fragile environment. As we continue to explore the Mariana Trench, we are sure to make more groundbreaking discoveries that will reshape our understanding of life on Earth and beyond.